These are the masters of speed. This is Formula One. Yo, how are you all doing? Hope you guys are all good. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are back with another setup video. It is Spa de Franco Champs, probably my top one, top two circuit. We are Lewis Hamilton. We're starting on pole as well. Obviously, we don't do any um, qualifying, we just jump straight into five laps and randomize it and away to go. So, should we get into it? Let's go. I better put my headset on first, otherwise, I ain't gonna be able to hear nothing. So, five red lights. Felt like eternity to get away. Obviously, the AI at the start are absolutely rapido. But I'm still leading going into Eau Rouge and Radion. I'm gonna hit the DRS, ERS I should say to try and cover off Fernando try to park my car right here I'm going to switch it off and I should be ahead into the chicane right here but as for uh, this setup I feel it works absolutely beautifully like it's you know we'll explain uh, in the setup that comes after the video that what you can do to make the um, car a lot quicker but absolutely love this circuit man the circuit is just amazing trying to stay away from Fernando because obviously the AI cars at the start of the race are absolutely rapid and he's doing everything he can to get past through Blanchimont, down to the bus stop. As you can see, he's only a tenth, just under two tenths behind me. They'll drop off now massively uh, because obviously they dump all their ERS at the start. You can see that I'm obviously running a high brake bias. But a 47.4 isn't great. Um, it, in the practice I was doing uh, prior to that I was uh, down in the 46s I do just absolutely love this game though so much better than 21 uh, 22 sorry but as you can see um, my tyre pressures the tyre temperatures rather and the reason why this setup calls for high tyre pressures it's because the surface temperature of the tyres really does bleed away really does and obviously the lower the temperature the less grip you've got if this is a time that isn't very good you'll know about it should be somewhere 43 just gonna drain all my battery now all the way to the bus stop see how much speed we can get out you see the problem is with the with the Mercedes they uh, do rev out at about 250 I think So that was a 43.9. I was getting like low 43s. Um, would be disappointed in that. But that's not good. That's not bad because if you was going to go into a league race with this setup, uh, I just did a 43.9. You probably can take about 1.8 to nearly two seconds off that time. Um, because obviously this isn't a race. 
not in qualifying. So it's probably a high, uh, probably a high 41, maybe a, a low 42. And for league racing standards, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. But as you can see, I've absolutely dropped the AI. The AI are absolutely rapid at the start of the races, and then they tend to um, drop off then. And the only other time, like I said before, the AI will use their ERS is when they're about the box. I wouldn't recommend taking the tyre pressures up anymore though, because um, you don't want your tyres to go above uh, the threshold. And I'll explain all that in the understanding uh, tyres when I get to uh, Spa because if they uh, go above the threshold and blister you're in a world of trouble especially running low downforce on a circuit like this <clears throat> they will absolutely punish you as the tyres will blister and they will be absolutely no good you just end up spinning off and crashing into a ball of flames like I've done many times around Spa absolutely love this circuit though league racing not so much it's one of those but as an old-fashioned circuit which is only a handful of those left on the actual calendar itself but yeah this car does top out a lot sooner than the majority of others but it's all good though because it's equal performance and the AI is on a hundred just to show you guys just to try and not to have any dramas from uh, the AI the setup is smooth it's stable and that's why I like uh, with the car obviously if you if you were crazy and you need more straight line speed for ever knows why you could take the wings down uh, the front down two maybe and then you could even go as low as uh, zero on the rear wing that's if you're mad as I said for a base setup this works works perfectly but um, if I was going to go into a league race, maybe I would drop the wings down by two on the front and the rear. Or I could even just possibly run with this because it's absolutely perfect, or it feels perfect anyway. Final lap, final lap, push, push. Problem is with Spa though, because it's such a such a long circuit. Uh, tire wear, it really punishes, uh, as you can see, I'm already on 14%, or, well, 14% on the front left anyway, and I've done five laps, yes, obviously tire wear is um, representative to the amount of laps that you've got, but it's still a high tire circuit, or I find it a high tire wear circuit, and with the strap being hard, uh, the game claiming you can do a medium to soft around here on a 50% league race, it's not recommended, not recommended at all. I, I would probably go for a, a medium to hard strap unless there was a late safety car and you could bolt on a set of softs within like, five or six laps you have to remember that whilst the game might say it's a medium to soft strat you might want to rethink that because softs they will only last four laps even though they might last ten but the actual grip levels and, and the fact that they give you so much straight line speed but this has been Spa Francochamp. Absolutely goated circuit. Absolutely love it. Setup is at the end, guys. Hope it helps. I really do. Any questions, let me know. Do that good stuff. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you in the next one.
Take care. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Fernando Alonso. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance every time, just like he's done today. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. This setup then, so Belgium, we all know it's a low f downforce circuit. Technically, it is. Um, I've always struggled with Belgium. Belgium is an amazing circuit. I love it. I really, really do. However, there's three sectors, obviously, to a circuit, as we all know. Um, but there is two sectors that are pretty much straight lines. And you need as little downforce as possible to get the maximum out of both sectors. I always sacrifice sector two. Uh, for the benefit of sector one and sector three. Sector one being the uh, long camel straight and sector three being Blanchimont all the way down to the bus stop. So that's this is the way I set the car up. I forget sector two, I absolutely um, phone it in, forget about it and always set up a low downforce type car. So I've gone with nine on the front, seven on the rear. On the transmission, I've gone 60-50. Again, um, it does help uh, help me a lot obviously but these setups are for you guys so try it uh, some people might like to run uh, as low uh, diff on as possible to reduce wheel spin but I like 60 might change it during a race but probably not you know it all depends on where I am and how the car is behaving especially on uh, hard tires or medium tires on the sp suspension geometry you know the drill by now it's right right left left if it's not broken, don't fix it. I mean, you can add a little bit of toe in or to, uh, toe out. Obviously, it, again, it, it's up to you. you. You play around with the settings, around with the setup, and yeah, make it yours because it all comes down to individual driving talent, uh, driving skill or the way you drive. At the end of the day, we're all different. <clears throat> and that's it. On the suspension, I've gone with a front suspension of 27 rear suspension of 10 you should kind of see the same sort of theme same sort of pattern with these setups uh, it seems to be a very very high front end uh, whether it's suspension or roll bar and then a very low uh, rear end uh, whether it be rear suspension or rear roll bar um, that's just the way the cars are set up at the moment but as you can see, we've gone with 27 on the front, 10 on the rear. Again, with roll bar, I've gone for uh, kind of stiffish, like smack bang in the middle, sort of, uh, on the roll bar, uh, on the front roll bar, because you really want that stiffness to turn in and uh, stop the lunging, stop the car from the body roll. Uh, rear uh, is down as low as possible. Um, if you are, and I say this with bated breath, right, because there are some people out there who really can drive it. You could, uh, I wouldn't recommend taking the ride height any lower than this because you do bottom out on the top of uh, Radion, uh, Eau Rouge Radion. You will bottom out. And um, if you had watched the five lappers previously, you'll, you'd hear the car bottoming out. But if you are crazy and you really, really want to, you could go back to the aero and reduce this all the way to zero. Honestly, you can do it. But that's for crazy people and i'm not crazy not a day especially when i'm giving a base setup if i was probably 
going into a league race I would visit uh, and probably look to get that uh, low uh, the rear of the car lower obviously to give you a more straight line speed but as for a base setup 97 is absolutely perfect on the brakes again this only applies to people running ABS off I've gone with 100 on the front uh, on the brake pressure and I've gone with a 58 brake bias and that is simply because I lock up um, going into no name corner which is the downhill right hander and I also lock up going into the bus stop or, or I, any lower and I lock up uh, it seems to be okay tyres obviously I've been doing the um, understanding the tyres and what they mean because this game this year is so uh, fixated on tyres tyre wear, tyre heat up, tyre warm up etc etc just like in real life and it's crazy it really really is this circuit even though it's uh, got quite a few turns in it and they are um, you know really like n almost 90 degree turns in some parts especially the bus stop the the surface tire literally bleeds away it absolutely does so you really do need to run quite high tire pressures around here just to keep the temperature or the surface the, the carcass temperature in the tires and again go back to the five laps um, prior to this and you'll understand and see exactly what I mean but I've gone with 22.3 on the right I've gone with 20.0 on the left I've gone with uh, a 21.2 on the right rear and I've gone with a 21.1 on the rear left as the left side of the car seems to warm up a lot quicker than the right side this has been Spa really hope the setup helps i really do like i said i would love to hear from you guys if you know got any questions or if you think the setup doesn't work for you let me know i will uh, revisit and try to get it to work around for you as i said do all that good stuff i hit the like button hit the subscribe button as it will really really help me it really will and uh, all the guys that have subscribed and support me so far really appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next one take care guys peace Thank <laughs> you.